This has always been an athletics country. I, I mean, I remember the Games in 2012. Now, Olympic Games are a bit special. People make a special effort to go. But we sold out all the morning sessions. Uh, and then again, if you look at the 2014 Glasgow Commonwealth Games, even the morning sessions there were very well attended. So people like watching world-class athletics. Uh, and to give them an opportunity to watch it in comfort and, and a marvellous modern stadium, I think is terrific. We're going to see some fantastic competitions. Uh, one of the fundamentals of sport is that there has to be a fundamental uncertainty of outcome to re excite. If it's always the same athlete, and we have so many competitions coming out where you really don't know who's going to win. And some tail ends of people's careers. Mo, this is his last appearance on the tracks, probably. Obviously, Bolt. I think there's going to be some real stand-up moments from these World Championships. I can remember all the arguments about how we built that stadium, uh, which has you know, changed shape a number of times. I was there for the first time for four years at the anniversary games. The stadium looks absolutely marvellous as an athletic stadium. Um, and I think the happy scene of watching thousands of people with a smile on their faces going in to watch world-class athletics is really, really good news. I, I couldn't be more excited. All sports have to continue to look at uh, what they are doing, reinvent themselves, uh, understand what uh, audiences today want. Uh, and athletics, I think, is a bit overdue in uh, looking at that. Uh, they've done it in the past, they've cut the number of jumps, cut the number of throws. Uh, the competitions go on too long, very often. The sports presentation is difficult. If you're at the stadium, it's difficult to see what's happening, say, in the long jump because something else is happening at the same time. Uh, so there has to be a really hard look at modern ways of doing sports presentation. And as I said uh, at the session today, more importantly, explaining that story year long because it's too late to do it just at the Games. Bolt has been around for a long time. Uh, Mo Farah has run extremely well for a long time. It takes some time for uh, new talent to come through. But it happens. I'm trying to remember the Olympic Games when Brendan Foster was the only bronze medal winner. You know, here we are a number of years later where British athletics has been in certain events at the top of the world. Um, I think in this country, uh, track and field athletics will, will, will develop and mature and produce uh, absolutely top class athletes. As far as the rest of the world is concerned, there is no doubt athletics is still one of the absolutely prime Olympic sports and to win an Olympic gold medal in Tokyo would be an absolute highlight and that again will be good for the sport. Athletics will always have uh, big names. That doesn't necessarily mean that there will be global names. You, know, you can have someone like Laura Muir who's a big name in Britain um, and she may never make be a world name in the same way as Mo. But actually that's just as important because what you need, every nation needs their heroes. And that's one of the great things about athletics is that the winners are coming from so many different countries.